Milos, congratulations and welcome into the SkyPad. It was uh, excellent attacking tennis against one of the game's best defenders. How did you feel you played today in attack? Yeah, I did the things well. I, I know that the key is you have to keep him sort of on his heels. He can come up with great things, but you have to try to challenge him many times over to come up with the goods. And uh, I was fortunate that he wasn't able to do so today. Because I noticed that you were... Oops, let me just... Uh, actually, let's talk about this. Your serve has been such a big factor. And here it is at you starting at this point. Now, this is when you were attacking. Straight ahead attack here on the forehand. When you get a ball like this, are you aware of his speed? Are you cognizant of his speed? Obviously, the standard volley from this position is going to be down here, but you tended to cut it nice and short to make him run a bit further. Is that something you're aware of when you're attacking? Well, like? it's uh, to make him run a little bit further, but a big part of it is to make him run with the wave coming forward because then he has less court to work with, especially with the down the line being open. He doesn't have as much court to work with the angle that he has to, he has to clear the net and have a line before the baseline, so that, that helps me. And also... Because he's such a show and he's always doing some unusual things over the other side of the net, and you're having to react to that as well, does this affect you at all when you see him hitting shots like this? Well, it does affect you in a way, <laughs> but you have to be aware. That's what you expect from Gael. You know, he can come up with great things. You have to try to challenge him to have to play well and redo these, even for him, low percentage shots over and over again. And again, here's another look at some excellent stuff, bringing up attack forward. He comes up with some pretty good defense, a nice low ball of attack. And again, you're asked a pretty difficult question from an awkward place. What's your thoughts when you're in this kind of position? Keep it short. Again, you have to try to keep him coming forward because the guys move so well laterally, especially now. As opposed to cross court deep, right? Yeah. You know that he's going to move well there cross court deep, and he has so much spin to work with, space to have the ball bounce back in. Obviously, he's had the line open there. Uh, that's what I should be covering, but since where I was, he made a good play, but he didn't come up with the down line. He sort of went back to me, fortunately. The foundation of your game is your great serve. Talk about your serve a little bit to start. I wanted to showcase a little something that you do that's a little bit different from the other guys, and this is as you're prepared to serve, your wrist is almost pressed forward in this unusual sort of fashion. Can you explain that and what that uh, is all about, how you do that? You put your wrist yeah, like that? It's is interesting. It just it's just something, I don't know if it's stylish. It looks like... Uh, it looks like <laughs> I don't look like the best server at this starting point here, but <laughs> it works out for me quite well after. But it's something I guess I developed from a very young age. I've stuck to it, and it sort of gives me the rotations to work with after on pronation through contact. And you're always trying to find an advantage in edge. Obviously, you wear the mouth guard. What does the mouth guard do for you? Uh, it's like uh, the average person wears orthotics, except I try to solve the problem from the top <laughs> down rather than the bottom up. Excellent. And now this this is an interesting little stack. I don't see many guys. Are these dates? Yeah, dates. And why do you eat dates? I don't like them. <laughs> but apparently like they're pretty good either. for sustaining energy. So uh, you, you can see how small of a bite I take. I really don't enjoy it out there. But, well, you're but you do. Well yeah. Talk a little bit about the yoga. I know that you like a little bit of relaxation on the court. Are you yeah. trying to find? What do you think about in this? Well, I think it's, it's really just getting myself back centered. Not thinking about what just happened. Not thinking about what might happen or what opportunity I had ahead of me. And here, either what I'm doing is I'm focusing on the first shot I got to hit, whether that be a serve or a return start off the game strong because for me that's key with the way I go and I try to be aggressive I can get ahead and put pressure on my opponents that, that really helps me out a long way. Whatever you do and keep it up. Congratulations on the win. Thank you very much. Thanks for visiting us here at the iPad at the uh, Skypad.